Right then, Herdy Beacon's right over there. We've just come right the way round the edge of it. Unfortunately, I kept going and didn't panic or turn back or anything. I've been on this track before. Leads you up to the gate that takes you up to Herdy Beacon. But what I'm going to do is pick up a path just up there and go up to the trick point. Then over to our lovely... Um, so we've done a bit of exploring and I came across a bloody whacking great big red toadstool. Massive like a pancake. Uh, just uh, no others, just that one. There, were, there was one other smaller one. I take the pictures. Looks like uh, well, there can't be a hunt on because it's the um, resting season. I wouldn't have thought they'd hunt them when that was on. There's a lot of horse boxes up here though. But of course I'm not into um, hunting at all. You know, not at all. I've been on a hunt. I used to ride horses. It's not uh, it took the alien to me. I remember when I was on a horse called Connie and they said, whatever you do, Sheila, do not overtake the hunt, the head of the hunt. The master of the hands. That's <laughs> what they said to me. There's a little cab in there. Can't remember if I've noticed that before. So we'll just take a picture here. As well. It's just starting to get a bit cloudy. We've done, we've done some great photos today. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go up there. Going up to Trig Point. We've done quite well, really. Bit of exploring, bit of singing. Um, yeah, we're not going to bother with an ice cream or anything. I can't be bothered to go over there. I brought, I've had a jelly. Yeah, so we've done really well. That's Herdy Point right over there. I'll just zoom in a bit. Might show. Over there somewhere. We walked the other side of that earlier. We walk the we walk around the base of the other side. This is a bit deja vu, by the way. Why is that? Well, because we went up a similar path, not this one. There's another one goes up over there, up to the trick point. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, and I was doing a walk over when I did Dowsbury Hill Fort. It could have been the 13th of September. I done it. That rings a bell. Right, I'm going to turn off, folks, because we do really do have to save <coughs> memory card. Not battery, memory card. And um, there's a lot of um, horse boxes around, so I'm beginning to think there must be something going on. Maybe this is a rushing season, I don't know, but people are out on their horses, obviously. I can't imagine, whenever I see something like that going on, it's because there's a hunt. We never, we never see nothing in the combs, did we? There's a jeep up there. All right, I'm going right to turn off. Folks, here we have the trick point. I had a lovely picture with the horse and the rider that was right by the trick point. And would it bloody click? The camera just failed. First time today. It wouldn't take the picture. As soon as she moved away, it took the picture. Like, this is Black Hill trick point, folks. That I was unable to go near because it was surrounded by bikers. When I did Dowsbury Hill Fort, which is over there, by the way. But I can hear horses, and it seems to me I, I might have missed all the activity because I can hear them on the road. Right, so over there, we, we walked around the other side of that earlier when we went down through the wood where I sang Jerusalem into the field to see if there was any mushrooms or toadstools. sauce. There's a girl on her horse there. Um, and it's my beautiful Quantox, everybody. A beautiful contox. So what we're going to do now, folks? Right? See you. 
over there. Weather's changed. Look, we're, that's where we're going over to Higher Hair Nap. But it's on the way back now. We're on. Oh, there's loads of horse boxes. There must be something going on. It can't be a hunt. I wouldn't have thought it'd be a hunt because it's the rutting season. Yes, a load of bloody vehicles out. I can. I could hear the horses. But you, we got to go that way, Sheila. Yeah. I know, you've just got to find the route. Wait a minute. We'll head over there, otherwise you'll be going back to the hill fort. Yeah, I can see horse boxes over there. I could hear them on the road. So maybe they're doing something over that way. Keep your eyes peeled for dear of everyone. I did hear what could have been the huntsman calling. There's Hinkley Point. There's Dowsborough Hill Fort, folks. I can see a couple of horses moving around over there. It might have all ha whatever it is, it might have happened. You know? Yeah, we're going this way. I've got to get on that path, haven't I? Yeah. Of course, it's gone nippy as well, folks. Has it? Yeah, it's gone nippy. Right, so that's where we're going, over there. It's Beacon Hill right over there. Or it could be... Uh, yeah, it's Beacon Hill over there, Ladies' Edge. Somebody coming up on a bike. Dalesborough Hill Fort over there. Done all this recently. Right there. Oh, yeah. Who recognises that? What is it? We were up here a couple of weeks ago and we went right up the top and went through it. 10 out of 10, whoever gets it right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right, you got it right. 10 out of 10. Down to hill fort. And where am I going? I'm going to, I'm on higher, I'm on the higher hair nap route. Right then, a bit of deja vu everyone. Battery just went, I just had to change the battery and I was just saying, Whoever's with me, do you recognise that? Because I was up here on the about the 13th of September, or 17th, I was walking through it. And I said, 10 out of 10, whoever can get it right. Dowsbury Hill for it. Now that's as far as I went. Look at this view, everyone. Look at this beautiful view, everyone. Oh my God. You know, I'm always up here. People say, you're always up there, she, I know. This is where I'll be for eternity up here. You know? <laughs> I'd be quite happy to live up here forever. <laughs> I ain't gonna have any problems. <laughs> no, of course I'm not. I love the place. I was down in some of these combs earlier, don't forget, and I came up. See that green patch over there? Came up that green patch over the other side towards Hurley Beacon. Okay? Yeah, that green patch there, I emerged following a path all the way along. I followed a path all the way along there into Somerson Coombe, everyone. Okay. I was over there. 
and I came out, there's some big trees there I took pictures of. So this is the circular walk we're now on. We're above Somerton Coombe. There's been a lot of horses and activity out here. I haven't got, I can't imagine it being a hunt when the rutting season's only just started. But there's been a lot of people dressed like they're out to do, do damage. But there we go. If you can make out, um, I'll try and zoom in. There's a thin line on the side of the hill there. And um, that's the path I was on several hours ago. Then I climbed up where the green patch is. Okay. All the cameras are playing up. They all need a clean, actually. Their zooming um, capacity has got a bit sticky. I did have a jelly earlier. Oh, some of it dripped onto one of the cameras. God. They don't like being messed about with. That's why I've got two excellent cameras that are sort of damaged because of me. My really good Sony. They're both in hospital. <laughs> oh God, I'm, do you know, I've, I, do you know what? what's great about being able to drive yourself? I mean, I will, I do, I've got no choice when I have to use bus and train, right? I have no choice. But I'll tell you what's lovely about this. Oh, I can even see Housewife Post over there. Right on the end there. I can see how Housewife Post right over there. But of course I can't zoom, I can't see anything. Right over there it is, somewhere. Everything's gone sticky. I've got jelly on it. Yeah, I won't take it. Jelly, sticky jelly. I'll have to clean the cameras up. That's, uh... Oh, dear. We've got to make our way right over there, yeah. Then it's just downhill to the car park. Oh, yeah, what was I saying about cars? Yeah. How nice I don't have to... I'm mentioning it now, but I haven't. don't really have to think about it. How I don't have to get a bus. And the worst part of the year is coming up when it's cold waiting at bus stops. And then they sometimes they're often late. Often late, often don't turn up. Um, it's awful for people who rely on them all the time. Uh, bus service. It's, um, I can come out here today. I've, there's no pan. The only reason I've got to get back before it's too late is because it's, um, I think we've got the motorbike, the, the sort of motorbikes and tribe tri bikes. They all come and have races on the beach. I'm not sure if it's this weekend, but if it is, it'll all, everything will be churning up tomorrow. A whole weekend of noise. So I'd like to be able to make sure I can park in a reasonable place. Yeah. Turn off again. Right then. Higher hair nap. I've taken some pictures of the car and you can't really see it with this one. It doesn't always zoom in properly. There's a little tiny lump sticking up. It looks a lot bigger than it did last year when I put my stones on it. There's Summerton Coombe. I went, I went up through that way earlier, following a path around like that and came up through that coombe there. Um, something which is called Somerton Coombe, which I, le I left Hodder's Coombe at, at the Fords because I had trouble crossing and then I decided to do Somerton Coombe. And I still had trouble crossing the streams but I managed in the end and I didn't get my feet wet. 
I did it. Um, yeah, it's been a nice walk so far. I mean, it was really, it was quite warm earlier and there was a lot more blue sky. So the weather is up and down. And this is why, I mean, I'm glad a lot of the walk um, had the nice blue sky. But of course, this is the important bit, this bit. <laughs> just doing the carn. I mean in theory I could drive over and just do the carn and not do a big walk on the 7th if I wanted to but um, I don't think I will now because I've got a feeling there's going to be there could be memorial services. I'm not sure because the 7th is going to be celebrated by differently by one half of the world. One lot will be celebrating celebrating the massacre and one half won't because it, it was the uh, Israelis that sacrificed but their own side allowed it to happen I'm sorry but they're complicit they're complicit in the death of those Israeli people because they did nothing to stop it with all their security you're telling me they never knew <laughs> They allowed it to legitimise attacking Gaza. Now, that, like I said before, some bloke in Parliament or an MP somewhere said that. You don't hear about him anymore. He said exactly what I've just said. They allowed it to happen. They turned a blind eye to legitimise their attack to kill 41,000 plus Palestinians. Most women and children, unarmed, in their homes, bombed. Right then, just turn that bit off. That's what I'm feeling like. Why there might be some sort of celebrations on the 7th. They allow... I'm sorry, but they allowed it to happen. The Israelis. They really did. They, they allowed... A festival right next to the Gaza Strip. <coughs> With all these rich kids turning up. Right near a repressed race of people. With walls and fences. You know? You know, dancing in their faces. There. There's a sheep and there's my carn. It'll probably come out. It's not too far away. Now I'm going to turn that one off. I don't even know if it was even on. I'm not sure. I can't see a buggy thing with this thing. I, don't know. I never know if it's on or not. I don't know now if it was ever on. The only way you can tell is by pressing. Pressing that. Nothing's working, it's all got very sticky. 